everyone, iOS 16.2 actually ended up coming out in a beta form, and I did want to go and take a look at it on my iPhone 11. I haven't taken a look at betas on my, you know, actual iPhones in a long time for X.X updates, so I figured I might as well take a look. Now, I will tell you, betas are still buggy. There was just a bug that just happened there. I tried to tap the screen, it wasn't working. So let that be a lesson to you. I would highly recommend not installing any beta on any phone at all. So make sure you're on your official version. That's always the best thing to do. Now within this specific beta, it was a interesting size. So I was coming from iOS 15. So it's a pretty big update. On this iPhone, I was coming from iOS 15 and it was 4.8 gigabytes, which is very interesting because it wasn't as big as I thought. I thought it was going to be closer to six. That is not the case. Now it also says this beta version of iOS 16.2 contains bug fixes and improvements. And that is pretty much, I think, from what we can tell, what is brought within this update. Now there's still going to be lots of improvements. There's going to be lots of little things that changed. Interestingly enough, one of the things that changed is actually when the, within the update panel. So if we go click here, if we go and click on general, if we go and click on software update, you'll now see that the text within the actual update is now a little bit more bold. Before it was not bold, it was basically just like the standard text, just like how you saw below. So that is actually a really cool thing that they ended up doing. So I'm really happy they did that. I looked at the about panel. I thought they would have bolded something here too, and that is not the case. But you can see within iOS 16.2, you can still click here. You can still see more about this information. Now keep a note of that you know, build number because I'm sure it's going to be changing quite a bit within these next few betas. Now within this update, and another interesting thing happened. They brought the freeform application, which was something I think they were talking about earlier when iOS 16 came out. And it looks like they're officially going to be releasing it within this beta. So it comes pre-installed, you don't have to reinstall it or anything like that, it just installs by itself within this update, and it says welcome to Freeform. So it says get creative, build your board, and then collaborate with others. So I think it's almost like a virtual type of whiteboard type of thing, which I think is actually really cool. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be the one using this every single day, but it's a cool thing, and if you ever use any other, like, paid or free type of, you know, whiteboarding, you know, application. Well, this one is one that's going to be pre-built in with not only iPhones, but iPads, and I think even macOS as well, probably. So that's going to be really cool. Now, I messed around with it a little bit. I am not too sure what I would personally do with this, but I can see it how it holds a lot of value for a lot of people. So I think that's a really cool thing. You can also add people to these whiteboards. You can also share this out, I believe, by clicking here. You have to, I guess, sync it with your iCloud account and all that other stuff, but it's still a really cool thing that we have the option of doing. Now, like I mentioned, installing a beta is going to cause issues, but if you're installing this on a second device, you can see this is a very, very cracked iPhone 11, has tons of issues, and also, it is still a, it doesn't have tons of issues, but with an iPhone 11 like this, it's not that old of a device, so if you have an iPhone 11, and it's a spare one, or if you're, you know, rocking one that's, you know, rocking an iPhone that's still supported with iOS and you're not using it, then feel free to install the beta. But like I said, if you're installing a beta and it's like your main phone, don't do it. It's going to cause lots of issues. It's not even worth it within this update, especially because there's not really anything super crazy. That's just like the freeform app and a few other things changed. Other than that, I would probably stick with where you are. Just stick with iOS 16.1 or stay on iOS 15. And I'm excited about this update, but it's been running fairly well on the iPhone 11 so far. And I guess we'll see what happens you know, in a few days. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.